Now we'd like to welcome to the show Owen McGurr, who was um, a guy with a physical disability, but he didn't let that impair him. And he has now developed an app called Switchify, which is to aid people with physical disabilities to access social media, internet, etc., etc. So, first of all, you're very welcome to the show, Owen. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. You're very I'm really welcome. I'm to be here and share my story. Uh, I've it's always your... been passionate about finding ways to use technology to break down barriers. And it's great to be able to talk about how that journey led to creating tools like Switchify and helping others with accessibility needs. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. You might tell us a bit about yourself and your involvement with disability. Good. My name is Owen McGurr, and I'm a software developer from Donegal, Ireland. I live with cerebral palsy, and that's been a big part of what has driven me to work on accessibility technology. I've always been interested in how tech can break down barriers, especially for people with disabilities like myself. Over the years, I've developed several apps that aim to improve accessibility, including Say It and Augie, and now Switchify, which helps people with limited mobility control their devices using adaptive switches. That's brilliant. Um, I don't know how you do this. I, I see that you rely on assistive technology, so you might tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I rely on assistive technology every day to navigate and interact with my devices. As a Switch user, I use devices that allow me to control my phone, computer, or other technology through adaptive switches. This type of tech has given me a lot more independence and control over my environment. It's also what inspired me to create solutions like Switchify, so others with physical disabilities can have the same ability to use their devices in a way that suits them. Can you tell us where you got the idea for the app and where did the name come from? Switch access is a way for people to control their Android devices without using a touchscreen. Instead, they use switches like buttons or sip and puff devices to navigate through apps, select items, or type. I got the idea for Switchify because, as a Switch user myself, I saw that the existing tools didn't offer enough flexibility or customization. I wanted to build something more user-friendly and adaptable for people with different needs. The name Switchify reflects the goal of making devices switch-friendly and accessible for everyone. Can you tell us some of the... Uh, sorry, what is Switchify and what does it provide to the end user? Sure. Switchify works by allowing users to navigate their Android devices using adaptive switches instead of touchscreens. Once the switch is connected, whether it's a buddy button, sip and puff device, or other, you can start controlling the device. A scanning cursor moves across the screen, highlighting items like apps or buttons. You press the switch when the desired item is highlighted to select it. You can assign different actions to short or long presses, like going back or returning home. An additional feature, Gesture Lock, allows users to assign gestures like swiping or scrolling temporarily, which is useful for navigating apps like YouTube or social media. This gives users control over their device with just one switch, making actions like texting, browsing, and calling completely accessible without needing to use a touchscreen. Can you tell us some of the other features that make the app attractive to people with disabilities? <laughs> Switchify offers several key features that make it attractive to people with disabilities. It allows for fully customizable switch actions, so users can assign different tasks to short and long presses. It also includes a keyboard with advanced word prediction, helping users type faster and more efficiently. The gesture lock feature enables gestures like swiping or scrolling to be assigned temporarily to the switch, making app navigation smoother. All of these features work together to provide greater independence and control over their devices. 
um, would you say that using technology helps people with their independence? Yes, technology plays a vital role in helping people with disabilities achieve greater independence. Assistive devices like adaptive switches and AAC systems have revolutionized the way people with disabilities interact with the world. AAC devices allow individuals who can't speak or type easily to communicate more effectively, while adaptive switches let people control their devices with simple actions, giving them full access to technology. AI has further expanded these possibilities. Speech recognition and AI-based word prediction have made communication faster and more efficient, especially for those using AAC systems. With AI, predictive text and speech-to-text can speed up communication by suggesting the right words and phrases based on context in previous conversations. Meanwhile, voice assistants like Google Assistant, Alexa, or Siri allow hands-free control of daily tasks, from sending texts to managing smart home devices. Beyond communication, technology offers independence in other areas too. Smart home devices controlled by switches or voice commands enable people to manage their homes independently, turning on lights, controlling thermostats, or locking doors, all without needing assistance. This freedom lets individuals engage more fully in their daily lives, whether it's work, education, or social activities. With each advancement, technology breaks down more barriers, empowering people with disabilities to live more independently and engage with the world on their terms. Um, is there a cost for the app? And if so, where does the money go to? Switchify is completely free to download and use. I wanted to make sure that it's accessible to anyone who needs it, regardless of their financial situation. However, I am raising funds through Indiegogo to cover the ongoing development, maintenance, and improvement of the app. The money raised will go toward adding new features, optimizing the app for different devices, and ensuring ongoing user support. Additionally, the funds will help with outreach to make sure people who can benefit from Switchify know about it and have access to it. Do you have ideas for future developments? Yes, I plan to continue developing Switchify. There are always opportunities for improvement and new features, and I'm committed to ensuring the app evolves to meet the changing needs of users. Now, we're right at the end of our time, so is there anything else you'd like to say before we go? I'd like to add that funding is really important for me to keep improving Switchify and making it more accessible for everyone. I'm working hard to add new features and support users, but this requires ongoing resources. If anyone would like to get involved or support the project, they can reach out to me directly or contribute through the Indiegogo campaign. Any support goes a long way in helping me continue developing the app and making technology more inclusive. Thanks again for having me. You're very welcome. It's been our pleasure to listen to your story and the very, very best of luck with the app. Thank you. So that was Owen McGurr and he was talking about an app called Switchify, which is a very good tool to use if you have a physical disability. You can see from these pictures that uh, the app is easy to use and contains a lot of good information. Owen has also got a website called switchifyapp.com uh, and that can be downloaded off the web. If you want to access the app, it's on the App Store. So help yourself and please support a very, very good cause.